In this video, I'm gonna configure the color palette and fonts for this website. So I'm gonna to go to the theme customizer by clicking customize under the appearance menu. And from here, I'm gonna to go to colors and fonts. So we're gonna start with colors and I'm gonna customize this global palette. Now, if you recall, the global palette defines certain colors that are reused across the theme customizer as well as the post and page editor. So these are used across the theme and here where it says site background, it's set to this color. And obviously we can set a specific color for the site background, but right now it's set to the lighter background preset which means if we change lighter background to something else in this global palette, that will also change the site background because the site background is set to reflect whatever that color is. So I'm gonna go ahead and configure this palette. Now, normally I would sit here and mess with this for a long time to you know, find a palette that works. In the interest of time for this video, I've already laid out a palette that I want to use for this website. So I've got a list of those colors off screen that I'm just sort of copying and pasting into the palette here. Now what I do a lot of times when I'm trying to define the colors for a new website is I'll actually Google just like color palettes. And there are a lot of websites out there whose entire purpose is posting different color palettes along with the hex values and you know all these things you need to use those color palettes in a website. There are just so many resources out there. I'll show you that in just a second. But you can see the design that I'm going for here is definitely a purple based design. We've got a few different shades of purple here. Uh, I really like this look and it doesn't seem to be reflected on this page yet. So I'm going to publish and then close out of here, view the site. Sometimes that happens with the customizer. It may be an issue with your browser cache or something like that. Uh, sometimes you just have to publish and go to the actual site and then you'll see your changes reflected. But yeah, that's my, that's my color scheme for this website. And like I was saying, if you wanna find color schemes for a website, you can literally just type into Google website color schemes or website color palettes. And you'll see websites like this, where you see a whole bunch of different color palettes. You can click on them and see the actual hex codes for each of these colors. And it can save you a lot of time, it can inspire you, and really just help get the ball rolling. Because, you know, when you just have this empty palette sitting in front of you, it can be hard to, you know, even begin to define these colors. So. Definitely use the resources at your disposal to draw inspiration and uh, come up with some good color schemes. Now, once again, a lot of things are going to be reflected automatically once you change this global palette. So our site background has changed. Our content background is already set. Our link colors. Um, so there are a lot of things that we're not even going to have to change. Buttons, for example, uh, should be good to go. We do need to change our typography. So you've got a lot of options here. We've got our base font, and then you can override that with all of these individual elements. So if you click into here, you can look at all these fonts and see what they're gonna look like. I already have a font in mind, but uh, you know, typically when I'm doing this, I am literally just clicking through the fonts, trying to find one that works, and you know it can be a time-consuming process, but that's why I came prepared today, and I know exactly what font I'm gonna be using. So we're gonna use Overpass for this website, and I'm just gonna use Overpass. Sometimes you wanna have different fonts for your headings versus your paragraphs, and when you're trying to figure that out, you can also use Google and search for font pairings, and there are a lot of different websites out there. This is a great example. If you click on pairings here, uh, we can scroll down and see actual font pairings with a, a heading and a paragraph that you can take back to your website and use for your own content. But like I said, I'm just gonna use the one font, keep it simple for this one. I'm gonna use overpass. 
And actually, it looks like I set that for the heading by accident. I need to set that as the base font. And now that I've done that, I also want to configure the heading sizes. Uh, I want to make my H1 just a little bit bigger, maybe 40. And we'll make, we'll make H2 a little bit bigger too, maybe 32. And then to my eye, the paragraph font is a little small as well. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit, maybe 18. So that looks good to me, and I guess that'll do it for our fonts and colors. So I will publish, and then when we come back, we're going to configure the header.